In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make captive nut joints with fingers that allow the pieces to stay in place while you put the bolts in. This makes for a much stronger captive nut joint than if you just have two pieces butted together. Both are strong joints. This one's a bit more complicated, but the strength is much better. First, let's create a component. Let's call this component Nutboard. I'm going to create a sketch, and I'm going to place this sketch on the front plane. I'll create a center rectangle, and I'll make it 100 by 100. Actually, I'll make this 50 tall. Next, I want to draw the two tabs that will be here. So I will draw two rectangles on the bottom. I'm going to make a user parameter for plywood. Click Change Parameters, Add a Parameter. Click Ply, then I'll type three millimeters. I'll make sure these two lines are collinear. Then I'll dimension this ply. I want these tabs to be centered, so I'll use a little trick. I can draw lines, and I can switch to construction lines. Then I can draw from here to here. I can draw from here to here. Press Escape. Then also press L again, draw from here to here, press escape. Make sure to turn off construction lines. I can shift click each of these, make them equal. And then if I use the vertical constraint, I can click this point and this point and this point and this point. I can also make these two equal. And then I just need to give them a dimension. So I'll give them a dimension of 20. Now I need to draw the profile for the bolt. I'll grab a rectangle, and then I'll draw another rectangle. I want these to be centered, so I'll click the vertical constraint. I'll hold shift, click this midpoint, and this midpoint. Those are now centered. I'll dimension this section from here, a dimension of ply. I'm going to use a three millimeter bolt, so this will be three. A three millimeter hex nut is 5.5 wide, and then it is 2.4 tall. I need to give this dimension, I'm going to use a 10 millimeter bolt, so I wanna give at least a millimeter space, and then I'm going to subtract the distance of ply because it's already going through one piece of plywood. So 11 millimeters minus ply. Then I need to locate this in the midpoint. I can use the vertical constraint, I can click this point, then hold shift, and hover over the midpoint, and it'll snap into place. Now we have everything drawn for the bolt. Finish our sketch. We'll press E to extrude. I'll click this piece, and this piece, and this piece, and our distance will be ply. We'll press OK. Then we'll click the top level component. We'll create a new component. We'll call this bolt board. So now I need to create a sketch. For this sketch, I'm going to orbit around to the bottom and I'll create the sketch on the edge of this tab. Then I'll press P. I wanna project this tab, this tab, the outside edges, and I wanna project this center bolt hole. Press OK. Then I can draw a rectangle. We'll dimension it 100. Tab 100. We'll make sure that these are coincident. So we'll click this line and this line. Then I can click the coincident and I can hold down shift, click this midpoint and this midpoint. And those will be coincident. So now my rectangle is centered. Next, I need to draw a circle for the bolt hole. So I can create a two tangent circle. Then I can just click this edge and this edge and it'll make the circle the right size. And I want it to be horizontally constrained to the midpoint so it's centered. So click this, hold shift, then click the midpoint. Now our sketch should be fully constrained. Finish your sketch, then press E. And I wanna click all of this and then make sure you get the little spaces around the bolt. We don't want these tabs, but we do want this. 
And then because we're going down, we want to type negative ply. Press OK. We can click the top level component. Now you can see that we have a captive nut joint, but it also has these fingers to keep everything nice and secure. You can insert a bolt from McMaster Car by clicking Insert, Insert McMaster Car Component, then click Bolt, Socket Head Screw, Metric, M3, 0.5, Stainless Steel. Here's our 10 millimeter size. 3D step file, click download. Now it is right here, you can just press OK. It's easy to assemble this with a joint, so we'll click Assemble, Joint. The type of joint we want in motion is Revolute. Then we'll click our position. We want to click the bolt so it moves towards the other piece, so click it first. Click right on this surface. Now it has the center shaft, and then we want to orbit around, and we'll click this center shaft, and now the bolt is right there. And you can see how it has one millimeter clearance. We can insert the nut. This time we'll click hex nut, metric, M3, 0.5, hex, and then we want stainless steel. And right here, here's our M3 stainless steel. Click this, download, press OK. Now we want to make a joint again, but this time for our motion, we can use a cylindrical joint. We'll click that section of the bolt, and then we'll orbit around. And we can click this hole. Now this allows us to move this up and down so we can move it up into position. We can look from the front. And then we can see if we're in our right position, it looks pretty good. And then we'll say, okay. So now you can see how this whole piece goes together. Our nut is now captive inside there. The bolt is holding it together and we have these really cool fingers. So hopefully you can make captive nut joints for your projects.